bearish market environment right now, the only thing that's working well and making traders consistent profits is short selling. Unfortunately, if you don't have $25,000, access to how to borrow stocks has been extremely limited. I know because when I first started trading with my $5,000 account, I missed out on a lot of short opportunities simply because, well, I couldn't find any shares to short. Which is where Trade Zero comes in. They are the best broker for hard to borrow stocks to short, especially if you have a small account. Obviously, that shouldn't be the only consideration you have when picking a broker. Here are a couple of other things to keep in mind of before you sign up to a brand new trading account. What kind of fees and commissions do they charge? Do they have an extensive list of hard to borrow stocks to short? How much money do you need to fund a trading account? Does the platform have fast executions? What kind of tools and customizations do they offer you? And if you live in Canada or some other country outside of the United States, can you even open a trading account with them? That's why I'm reviewing my experience trading with TradeZero today. Trade Zero used to be one of my favorite brokers to use. I even did a review on them in 2019. But then sadly, they left Canada, just like how my ex-husband, Mike Bagholder, left me. And I was forced to trade like how they did in the good old days. I want to short Moderna stock right now. What do you mean how much? All of it! Okay, not really, but I was actually sad to see Trade Zero go. The great news is they are now officially back. Just Trade Zero, not my ex-husband. And they are making a big push in both the United States, Canada, and outside of North America. This video is sponsored by Trade Zero, and I will be providing you with my honest opinions on the broker as an active trader and highlight the pros and the cons so you can decide for yourself if they are the right fit for you. I'll also provide you with my fully optimized Zero Pro platform settings and hotkeys to download down below. And that's not it. I also asked Trade Zero if there was something they could offer you for being a humble trader subscriber, and they humbly said yes. If you sign up through my referral link down below, Trade Zero is going to offer you three months free on the premium platform and 10% off on locate fees for the first month. First, let's talk about the price, both the platform cost and commission fees, because this is one of the biggest barriers to entry for traders, especially if you want to short sell. In short, their fees and commissions are amazingly low. Trade Zero has a few different platforms such as Zero Pro, Zero Web, Zero Free, Zero Mobile. But the one that's best for active traders is Zero Pro. And this is the one I personally use as well. The Zero Pro trading platform with live market data and level 2 costs only $59 per month. And that's pretty great, considering a few other platforms I use cost about $150 a month, making Trade Zero about 40% less than their competitors. Also, there's a $0 commission cost when you are trading with limit orders and adding to liquidity. Essentially, if I sit on the bid when buying and the ask when selling, I wouldn't have to pay any commissions. So that's a big money saver right there. Now let's talk about the actual trading platform now on Zero Pro. They now have arrows indicating your buying and selling executions, which is extremely useful. I've also gotten rid of this ugly grid that was originally on the Pro chart and increased the font size on the montage with Window. So now my grandma eyes can actually read the level 2 and time in sales over there. The color blocks here makes it really easy to read the price action as well. Another feature I want to highlight underneath the level 2 here is I've created these amazing hot buttons that really speed up my executions so much. Okay, they are officially called the hotkey decks, but I think hot buttons just sound so much hotter. 
In my opinion, Zero Pro has some of the most functional hotkey settings. Having them right below your level 2 on the montage window will be the best and the fastest way to execute your trading orders. And if you want to try out my Zero Pro hotkey settings, I'll have a download link for you below. As you can see, I've customized the buying, selling, shorting, and covering in various percentage here. Cover 25%, 50%, and 100. Okay, it's missing the percentage because it didn't fit, okay? I'm sorry, mom. I tried all my life to get 100%. I tried so hard, but sometimes the best I could get is 50% or even just 25%. Okay, moving on. Now let's talk about perhaps the most exciting feature, short selling, which is the flagship feature for Trade Zero. As I mentioned previously, the current market condition definitely favors short sellers. And don't you just hate it when you try to short a stock and a message pops up on your broker saying, Sorry, we don't have any shares for you to short today. And by today, I mean ever. This is where Trade Zero truly outshines most other brokers. They have perhaps the most extensive list of hard to borrow stocks to short. There were many times in the past where there were some extremely hard to borrow low float small cap stocks running, and I literally couldn't find any locate at my other three brokers. Even the ones requiring more than $30,000. And Trade Zero was the only place that had them. And a cool feature that's proposed proprietary on Zero Pro is that you could credit back your locates. For example, if I have these extra Twitter shorts that I don't need anymore, I can sell back those locates and get some credit back. Obviously, you won't get back exactly what you paid for it, but who cares? It's still a lot better than losing all of your money on the fees. Besides the hard to borrow stocks that you would need to pay to locate, Trade Zero also offers a lot of easy to borrow stocks for free as well. Almost all the large cap stocks are free to short, and you can tell by the S symbol on the montage window. And did I mention that you don't need $30,000 to open an account with Trade Zero? Trade Zero is the only broker offering these hard to borrow stocks that does not require you to be above PDT to open an account with them. In fact, they offer a minimum account funding of only $2,500 in the US and $500 for Canada and the rest of the world because they are trying to make their services more accessible to a wider audience. And this is much more in alignment with my philosophy that you need at least three to four thousand dollars to start day trading. Now let's talk about live support. I could remember having to contact another broker and waiting on the phone for sometimes over an hour to get some help. However, Trade Zero actually offers live support chat with real human agents who have worked in the trading industry for years. And I tried connecting with one of the live support chat online. And I was talking with a support agent within a few seconds. The agent was really personable and was able to answer my questions quickly. And she assured that she's a real human too. The only way this could have gotten better was if they personally showed up to my doorstep. Just kidding. Don't come to my house. It's a mess and I have empty pizza boxes and a lot of bags all over the floor. <laughs> okay, so we talked about the pros about Trade Zero and Zero Pro. Now we gotta talk about the cons as well. So you can make some informed decisions before opening a trading account with this broker. First, let's talk about the execution speed. On the vast majority of trading transactions, Trade Zero was comparable to other platforms I'm using. But I did notice on larger orders that there were some delays in getting filled, causing some slippage. This is not going to be a problem for the majority of traders, but for those who trade larger volumes, this could potentially be a concern. I also noticed that sometimes there's some lag on the charting platform, especially when the entire market is extremely volatile. 
And we've seen these a lot across the board with other free and premium platforms as well. It doesn't happen often, but it is something to be aware of. Now, let's circle back to the cost. I do find their short locate fees for hard to borrow stocks to be a bit higher than others. But keep in mind, they do give you extensive shortlist and credit back options. But that's still something to keep in mind of. Another thing I really dislike is the high wire out cost, essentially the withdrawal fees, which cost about $50 per withdrawal, and that's compared to $25 at other brokers. That being said, do keep in mind that you would be saving a lot of money on the day-to-day -day $0 trading commissions. So a lot of these savings there will balance out or even outweigh the locate cost or the wire out cost. And as traders, we could use all of these fees as tax deductions. This brings us back to what kind of traders should be using Trade Zero. If you want to short hard to borrow stocks, whether you are in the United States, Canada, or other international countries, Trade Zero will be a great fit for you. While I did mention some concerns about the latency, they are still really fast and have the best selection of shorts available. Low account funding minimums, $0 commissions on limit orders, and a very customizable direct access platform. And of course, I'm extremely excited that they are available once again in Canada. And I'm excited that they are willing to partner with me on this video and give you guys three months free of Zero Pro platform and 10% off on the short locate for the first month. To claim this promotion, make sure to sign up through my referral link down below. And you can download my fully optimized Zero Pro platform and hotkey settings as well. If you have any questions regarding Trade Zero or Zero Pro, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. I'm also going to be touring their headquarters in New York next month, so make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more behind the scenes. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I'm the Humble Trader, and I'll see you guys next time.